hello, welcome to another angling blog. Um, this week it's a roach fishing session. Um, anyone that's been watching the reservoir videos will recognise the venue. It's the one we've been doing the carp fishing on, on the method feeder, and had a few nice roach. So tonight is going to be a session on the pole, um, targeting them fish. I may have got a sleeper rod out for the carp, but I'm just going to leave that, not cast it very often and just leave it. Um, I had a session here on Sunday, um, and my plan then was to put a ball of bait on the bottom of ground bait with castor and hemp and um, it worked to a certain degree until the, the carp moved in and um, you couldn't catch a roach it was setting up every five minutes because you're getting slapped by carp so a bit of a different plan tonight um, and as I'll show you in a minute that um, the rigs are slightly different than what I would have used yesterday so the venue is a reservoir um, plumbed up couple of pole lengths out and it's about five to six foot deep but fishing um, a couple of inches off bottom because I think you know obviously trying to avoid the carp as much as, as possible but how easy that's going to be I don't know this warm weather the carp could be up in the layers or anything so yeah I'm going to make a start and I'll just show you the um, the bait that I'm going to use for today right so the bait tray for today got some caster left over from the weekend from the river um, surprisingly enough yesterday that wasn't the best bait couldn't really get a bite on it and then when I did put it on the bottom it was a carp with chuck with it uh, maggots seemed to be the best bait yesterday um, certainly for getting the bites and uh, rather than putting bait on the bottom today I've got some um, some ground bait which I'm going to feed as a slop make a cloud in the water and hopefully that'll work um, that's the peg I say I'm open to fish in line with that swim there and about here just off the shelf and um, feeding you know regularly with maggots and we'll see what, how we get on right and say so this swim anyone who's watching the, the carp fishing it's a nightmare with the sun um, i don't know what i'm going to do later on when it moves around um set up for the today is my drennan aqua on a puller kit um two pound main line down to a one seven bottom a size 18 hook and a point four gram pinky float pinky caster float so hoping get a slow fall through the water and quite a long um, top with a couple of back shots well just ducked into the first roach of the night took a while coming I'd say Gary's had a few roach to start off with made a steady start and that what it come for been the average stamp that we were getting on the method feeder and hopefully get a few of them tonight we'll have a nice net of silvers at the end smaller roach this time like the size you'd probably expect to get on maggot so just feeding the odd caster um but fishing maggot on the hook had they had a few more bites yesterday on caster i would have just gone all out caster I do think you'll get them big roach every time if you get them going but yeah just fishing about half depth and just spraying maggots over the top so yeah start and get a few fish anyway nothing better roach and dace by far my favorite fish Get a couple, and you're not going to bite for a while. But yeah. While everyone else is carp fishing on here, me and Gary are after the roach. When the bars are silver like that, you don't mind. It's madness. Oh, yeah, oh, they won't have caster. Fish like that should be coming a bite of chuck really on caster. But no, maggot seems to be what they're after.
and there's another nice roach coming on the pole line and say recording footage has been hard tonight because that sun is right in, your, in, in our faces Gary's had steady bites all night and by the end of it I think we'll both have a very nice net of roach certainly a nice evening let's get this guy back and there's another roach coming on the pole and say real quality tonight on the on the reservoir it's, it's beat my expectations really it's been some quality roach for both of us and that's just another one coming one seven bottom a size 18 hook and a maggot fantastic stuff let's get this little guy back Another one. Being steady now. That's me and Gary, both playing a fish. At the same time. I was going to say, if he brings his over, <laughs> we could have uh, showed the quality that we're both getting. As the lights going over there now, so that sun's been a nightmare, but roach is starting to come a bit. Right, coming towards the end of the session now, and yeah, another roach coming, and that's the plopper Gary just putting one back as well. Lovely fish to end on. And the next shot you'll see is the final net. It's been a fantastic night sport. Right, that's Gary's net of fish there. Some quality roach. Just over £17. It's a fantastic net of fish. And what an evening's fishing. Been perfect. And there's some clonkers in that net. Absolute clonkers. The videos never do it justice. But as you can see, the net full quality roach won't keep them out too long you get these guys back there's my net of roach just under 17 so what's that 35 pound of fish between us fantastic night sport and yeah all quality I mean like 
you look at some of the boats we've both had it's a fantastic net of fish and it was something that we said we were going to do a few weeks ago when we first started getting the odd fish like that on the method feeder and it just shows you know if you say you're going to do something get out and do it and that was what the results can be from you go out targeting carp and you end up with close to 40 you know 35 pound of votes between you fantastic stuff let's get these fish back now right the session's come to an end now um 35 pound of fish is more than we both expected and like i said earlier we, these were born from a session where we caught a couple of you know, one or two big big roach and we said we'll have a go and target them and that you know don't just say you're going to do it get out there and give it a go and that can be the result you know 35 pound of roach and a fantastic night sport um both nets had quality roach in and i'm sure if you fished hemp and caster you could have a fantastic night sport you know even better nets than that and the caster will pick out the better fish of course um but yeah it was an enjoyable evening a good laugh we had a great laugh going at it i was a bit of a crank to begin with but it was a good laugh um yeah just let just shows what can be what can come from an idea and you get out there and try it and that's the result and um, it'd be great if you can like and subscribe and um, it'd be fantastic and even share the video until next time tight lines in your own fishing and goodbye <laughs>